Hey everyone, I have this word that God had given me on 311 of this year. And he has asked me over the past couple of days um, to release it. So I'm going to read to you um, his words, what he spoke to me, and then I'll read a few scriptures. Um, so God said on that day, I'm getting rid of the pollution. Those that pollute my body, I have done a checkup of my body. I'm cleaning up my body. I'm getting rid of the pollution, starting with the chief polluters. He says, mega ministries will crumble. Mega ministries will crumble, starting with the Goliath of mega ministries. Only those that are living a righteous life will stand. Only those that are the head of mega churches that are living a righteous life, that are preaching my unadulterated words, that are not adding or taking away from my words will stand, says the Lord. He went on to say, it is my body. I will do what I must. I will expose what needs to be exposed. I will uncover what has been hidden. I will reveal what needs to be revealed. Does it pain me to do this? Yes. I don't take pleasure in exposing my own body. I expose when my warnings have been repeatedly ignored. I expose when my people that are called by my name refuse to turn. I expose when my grace and my mercy and my long suffering, my goodness is taken for granted. Many will fall. They will be humbled. They will fall flat on their face. He went on to say, playtime is over. And as soon as he said playtime is over, he gave me a vision of a whistle. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. And then he said, recess is over. On last night, in prayer, he gave me a vision of, um, it was like a vision of someone being cut off at their knees. And their legs were taken out from underneath them and they fell to their knees. And immediately the scripture um, about every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That scripture came to mind as soon as he showed me that. On last night, he also said damage control. There won't be enough damage control to clean up these people's images. Jesus, help. Help, Lord, help. There won't be enough damage control, he said, to clean up their images. And the things that he is going to expose about his own people are going to be so vile that they're going to be unbelievable They're going to be unbelievable. It's more than just, you know, men of God having affairs. It, it, it's 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 greater than that. The things that God is going to expose. It's greater than that. Jesus, help, Lord, help. And so he said there won't be enough damage control to clean up their images. He then gave me a vision of some hands being washed. And I immediately knew he was saying he had washed his hands of some and then he spoke and said, Romans 1. And we know in Romans 1, it talks about how he gave some over to a reprobate mind. There's some that are reprobate minds. Even now. Even now. Romans 6, 1 says, Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Matthew 10, 26, for the time is coming when everything that is covered will be revealed and all that is secret will be made known to all. What I tell you now in the darkness, shout abroad when daybreak comes. What I whisper in your ears, shout from the housetops for all to hear. I hear so many people saying, you know, what about the world? What about the celebrities? Um, I'm not saying that God's not concerned about them, but he's more concerned about his own house. He's more concerned about his own people that are called by his name. First Peter four seventeen, judgment begins at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Hallelujah. 
it goes on to say that the righteous are scarcely saved. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah 5.14 Therefore hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. Hell is real. Hell is real. And we must repent and we must live for Christ. His death was not in vain if we do not want to spend eternity in hell. Isaiah 5 15 says, And the mean man shall be brought down, and the mighty man shall be humbled, and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment. In this judging of his own body, God will be exalted. Hallelujah. He will be exalted. The Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment and God that is holy shall be sanctified in righteousness. Playtime is over. Putting up facades is over. Pretending to be is over. Back over the summer, God had me to release a word about how he wanted to clean up his house because he didn't want the harvest coming in being disgusted at the filth of the house. He is going to remove what needs to be removed. Those that have not taken heed to his warnings will be removed, will be exposed. And as I said, the things that are going on is unbelievable. It you you just won't be able to believe when you hear it. It's going to be hard to hard to take in. It's going to be hard to hear. It's going to be hard to believe. God's not playing. God's not playing. Playtime is over. The things that some of these ministries have done for money, they serve money. They serve mammon. They have lo- they have left their first love. And God is still loving and still gracious and still merciful. His nature has not changed. But he says enough is enough. I've given I've given time and space to repent, says the Lord. And when we don't, when he's been so good and we don't, he says it's a slap in his face. As though spit on him on his way to the cross. That's what we are doing to him. I repent, Lord. I repent, Lord, for all the times that I didn't take heed to warnings. I repent, God. Jesus. Forgive me for even being a procrastinator. Forgive me, Lord. Hallelujah. Forgive me, Lord. I pray that you take this word back to the Lord. I pray that we would all examine ourselves, examine our lives. I pray that we would make things right with our Lord and our Savior. I pray that we would show him that his death was not in vain. I pray that we would show him that his death was not in vain. Repent, 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 and turn in Jesus' mighty name.